Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the screens for a short video and then help me welcome the great to the stage Leslie. Penguin migration, trekking 100 miles inland to their breeding grounds. Except for these two fellas. This time next year, I'm going to be sitting on the egg. I think we're getting close. Make a U-turn. U-turn? Recalculating. <sighs> Man, we're never going to breed. Just give it a second. You will arrive in 92 days. No, uh-uh. Nope, nope, nope. You know what I'm going to follow? My instincts. <laughs> talking about guts and glory today. I'm going to need energy. Good morning. Good morning. Now we're talking. What is guts? What is instinct? The most common meaning for gut is your true self, your wiser self, your inner self. Trust your gut is a common advice that means trust your inner voice. Trust your intuition. A gut feeling or a gut reaction is a feeling or reaction that is deeper and wiser than our conscious mind. So what's that mean? That said a whole lot, right? That was the dictionary. What does that mean to go with your gut? How many times have you felt that little something in the bottom of the pit of your stomach, in your chest, your skin crawling, all those things? How many people have felt that before? Be honest. How many people have actually listened to that? Be honest. Because you know there was a time that you shouldn't have been with him or her or them, or taken that job, or been in that place. But because everybody else was going, you're like, ah, I'm good. But when you knew deep down, you should not have been there. You knew it, you knew it was the wrong job. But the check was good, the benefits was good. So you're like, I'm just gonna roll with it. What's the worst that can happen? Sometimes that's the way you go. What's the worst that can happen? But the reality is, Go with it. I have a client, every time I say I have a feeling, he goes, go with it, because I haven't been wrong. I'm going to tell a couple quick stories. One, Paris, France. I'm there. I'm dancing. I have my green card. I have my working papers. Everything's going great, but I'm getting all these amazing jobs. Come dance for Madonna. Come dance for the Prince of Monaco. Come dance, do this. So do I stay at the job that gives me security and my papers to be in the country? Or do I go with my gut and take a chance on myself and say, I'm going to freelance, and I'll get the check when I get the check. But I have all these amazing things. I went with my gut, and it paid off. Now, four years later, they told me I had to get out the country, but we dealt with that at that time. <laughs> I had gone with my gut. Second story. How many of you heard of Food with a Collection or Shark Tank? Okay. So you heard of Damon John, a little short black, black man that works there? Okay. So I've been with him, I can say it, I've been with him for 20 years. I'm allowed to say it all out. When I first met them, I was at Macy's producing special events and celebrity appearances. Everyone looked at me and said, do not take that job when they offered it to me. They're not your type of people. Now granted, we came from very different lives. I had just come back from Europe and from Japan. I did own that male strip joint. <laughs> I had all these things. I was eating, you know, foie gras and this, and you know, they were four guys from the hood making t-shirts. But I saw something in them. And what I saw, it was their work ethic. When I asked them and I was producing an event for them, and I said, hey, do you have blow-ups? Do you have videotapes? Do you have all these things? No, but we're gonna get them. What do you need from us? We'll make it happen. Anything I asked for to make it better for them, they were willing to do it. And so when they offered me the job, and this was the job offer. Damon on the side of the wall, one foot up. You remind me of my mother, but I can't tell my mother to F off every day. Do you want to come work for me? And me and my crazy self said, make me an offer. I went to my boss at Macy's and I said, I'm going to leave. I've been given a great opportunity. She goes, are you crazy? They could be out of business in two weeks. Don't go there. They're not your type of people. It's not your style. That's that hip hop thing. And I said, I don't know. I hit from a hop. And I don't care. But they're offering me a position to run the PR, marketing, and advertising department. And I can set it up any way I want. 
there's something, something's there. And if it's not, I already had three other job offers that said they will wait two weeks for me to see if I liked it. Well, it's been 20 years and I still been in dating. Those same people that told me not to take the job are the same people that called me for a job today. So, but that was that feeling. I can't explain what that feeling was, but it was there and I listened to it. Any time that I haven't listened to it is when I've caught myself in trouble. But if you don't listen to it, you have to know what you're listening to, correct? So that means you have to know yourself. See, most of us don't want to know ourselves. We know our resume. We know what we want other people to know. But when you're at, at night in that dark room and you've decided that I need to do what I need to do for myself, whether it's the job or the family, whatever that is, that means you need to be quiet. That means you need to settle yourself. And that means you need to hear that rumbling of your stomach, that clenching of your neck, all those things that are signs that you need to literally follow your gut, follow your instinct, take a chance on yourself. Because we don't do that. We wait for someone else to do it for us, to give us that opportunity. Make it yourself. Go for it. What's the worst that can happen? You followed your gut and it didn't work? It will lead you somewhere else. But if you don't take that opportunity, if you don't take that feeling, if you don't listen to it, then you're out the game. You will be the follower that continues to do that. I, that, my, that penguin commercial? No, that, nope, 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 nope. Somebody comes to my office today. I say that all the time. Nope, 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 nope. And they know exactly what I mean. Go figure it out yourself. Follow your instincts. I'm not following you doing some madness. Now, there's things that you have to do, right, for jobs. You just kind of have to follow. But at what point do you say, this is not right? We see that a lot right now. We're not going to get into politics, but we see it in government. We see it in jobs where people just finally go, you know what? My soul and my spirit has had enough. I'm going to go over here. And it's okay. I don't know where we went in society that we get scared to listen to ourselves. Our voice is the only voice we need to be listening to. Take that moment to feel it deep inside because that's when you move to the next job. That's when you move to the next level. And that's when you move yourself to another level. Otherwise, we get stuck. And then what's that mean? You go back to being the follower, correct? Now, everybody can't be a leader. Let's be honest. There's a lot of people leading that shouldn't be leading. My man with the GPS was just as lost. I'm the first one to say I have no sense of direction. No sense of direction. Know when to follow, know when to lead, but know when to follow when it's right for you, not when it's right for someone else. Because people lead you along quick. Stress and work, I have watched two people go down in the last four weeks. Why? Because they didn't follow their instincts when it was too much for them. And what did they say in the end when I literally had to put someone on a plane to go home was I should have said something earlier. And I kept saying, are you okay? Is it too much? Stop saying I can do it. You know, everyone's the smartest one in the room. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Until she couldn't do it anymore, until she couldn't think, until she couldn't see. I literally watched that two weeks ago in the industry. Don't do that to yourself. Listen to yourself. Be strong within. Use your voice. We all have them. Look at the young people right now. God bless them. I love them. These young people have found a voice and are using their voice. And so they're not going to be in that corner office at the job going, yes, 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 yes. They're definitely going, nope, 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 nope. Take that note. Take that stand. It is okay to do that. How many of you today, if someone handed you a $10,000 check and said, take it, because that's all I think you deserve, would you take it? Be honest. Now y'all lying. <laughs> no, you're lying. Stop. Because here's where you go. Taxes are due. Cute pair of shoes. Summer's coming. The Hamptons are coming. There's a lot of stuff we can do, right? But if it's not right for who you are, if it's not speaking to what you deserve, then you know deep down you shouldn't do it. But it's too quick to say yes. 
the next time someone offers you something, even a job, don't come trying to do that with me, and you want to negotiate, what do you need to do? Take a moment. Is it right? Now, this is not always about a check because there's payoffs. As a boss, as an owner, there are times that I really have to just go with my gut. I literally just had to let someone go two weeks ago. There's been a lot going on in these last two weeks. Was it because they were a bad person? It wasn't because they weren't qualified for the job because I hired them because they were qualified for the job. But in the midst of something, there was a restructure. But there was also in my gut, after him being there for a month, that I didn't feel that I had an employee that could be trustworthy. So what do I do? I need this employee. The restructure is coming, so I don't need the employee. But now I have to tell someone that's been hired for a month that it's not right. And I had to sit back as a boss, and I did the columns and good and bad and all those things. But deep down I knew if I walked out the office and cut the lights off, could I trust them to be there? And when I had to answer that question, I knew I had to let them go. So you know there's a rule that says if you go for an interview, if you're in a job and you don't feel like you can go have a beer or a glass of wine or champagne or whatever you drink or tea or coffee with that person for more than 20 minutes that you shouldn't take that job? Have you heard about that? Think about that for a second. Do you want to be outside of the office? Now, I'm not saying be friends. There's a line. But we do have to travel with people sometimes. We do have to do things. We're in the event world. We're together a lot. We see each other more than we see our families. Set up and tear down can be really shaky if you don't like somebody. <laughs> okay? <laughs> do you want to spend time with that person? How much do you want to be with them? Can you just get through the gig with them? Think about that the next time you take a job. Everything's not right for everyone. And again, we know that going in sometimes, and we still have to do it. But then do we listen to move out of that, to say this is for this moment? Because then we get stuck in the moment, we ignore our gut, and what are you doing? You're in the bottom of a hole. You're not saying nope, you're not saying yes, you're just there. Don't just be there. Each of you here deserve more than just being there. Working in the event world, we, everyone thinks it's pretty, right? Every time someone comes, I want to do what you do. I'm like, well, then you want to roll up the carpet, tape up the carpet, help the carpet go in the trunk, take it back, or take a bird bath in the, in the bathroom, put your pretty black dress on, take black dress off, roll the carpet back up. To, like, it's not pretty. <laughs> I get to do some really amazing things. I work with great celebrities. I get to travel around the world. I'm on my way to Greece for an event. I love it, all of that. Someone looked at me and said, oh, but you're going to be on a vacation. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not going to be on a vacation. I'm going to be in a different country trying to figure out how to get my chandelier hung that they keep telling me can't be hung. Then why can't why can I write the chandelier can't be hung? But that's another story. But, you know, those are the things we do. So, but we always have to remember if they're not the right vendor, change them. We're not in Siberia with two options. I literally did an event in Vegas and the man told me he couldn't roll his cases over the rocks. He had been to a site visit. He said he couldn't, the cases, the light cases couldn't go over rocks. Well, guess what? You are not the only vendor in Vegas. Now, my event was that night. So I was being a little bold, but okay. Because my gut tells me, you're going to do this all day with me. And I have no tolerance for shenanigans. So I looked at him. I said, you're fired. Because guess what? I'm the chick with the checkbook. And I'm not writing the rest of the check. And I'm canceling the first one I gave you. So either roll or get off. And everyone just looked back and said, you're the only person that's ever told him that. I said, well, it's the Vegas' is first day. <laughs> Welcome. Because I knew if I let him do that, all day was going to be something. And I wasn't going to do that. I didn't have time for it. Now, we don't always have that luxury. Again, I understand. I've been in some really great positions to be able to do those things. But you do have a voice, and you can fight for things. And we always have to know when we're dealing with bosses when to do it, when to wind that up. You know, you don't do it in the middle of the truck not being there. That's not the time to have a bright idea. And I'm going to go with my gut. I'm going to tell them now how I feel about them. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> okay? There's a time and a moment to go with your gut and let other people know you're going with your gut. 
as opposed to you knowing for yourself what you're about to do. I keep looking because they're going to give me my time in a minute. <laughs> See it. So if nothing else today, and is it my time? I, I don't want to be gonged. <laughs> that's, that's disrespectful right there. <laughs> so I just want to say, listen to yourselves. Listen to your inner voice. Feel it and trust it. It will not lead you astray. When we don't listen is when we go awry. Have an amazing day. Trust your gut. Yeah, I had to. I'm so not corny either, but that one I, I couldn't. <laughs> Go with your gut. Enjoy yourself. Thank you very much. Have a great day, guys. <laughs> Amazing.